Hey, this is Rick Beckert, and today we are going to show you how to use a web form to do a simple survey. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drag a web form out onto the page. And we're just going to quickly rename that. Let's open it up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the layout. We'll be making it 400 by 400. The other thing we'll do is we are going to move the label positions to the top. Next thing we want to do is we want to drag a field snippet out, but we want it to be a hidden field. We're going to go to email and we're going to save that. And that will allow us to delete the name and email fields that will be visible so that they won't have to enter them every time. It'll just pull the email field off of the, uh, off of the email that drove them to it in the first place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a, uh, a text box. This particular one we preset it up is what is your number one challenge? And we want to edit the submission button. We'll just say we want to go to question two. And here's just a basic question. So this is really all you need to get started. And before we go, we want to copy the link code and then what we will do is we'll put a note field directly underneath the question we'll post the URL into that and that will allow us to get the URL later when we need it to drive between questions now we're going to duplicate this question first thing we'll do is we're going to change the name to question 2 save that and here we'll just change the question to our second one. Make sure it is set to required. You'll want to edit the button so that it reflects what you're going to do next. I'm going to put question three, although we're not going to do a question three, but it'll give you an idea of what to do. Again, go and collect the URL code, make sure that you edit it because we did the copy. It's just going to append the number two onto the end. We want to get rid of the one. Save and copy. And put the note field underneath so that we can post the URL for that one underneath. Now what you need to do is you need to copy the question from the subsequent one and you need to change the redirect link in the question that precedes it. So we're going to open the thank you page. We're going to change this to web address. And then we're going to use the URL for the second question as the redirect and make sure that you click the past contact information so that it will continue to put the answers in the contacts record. Now let's mark these ready. In this case, we're not going to have a question three, so we'll just put something else in here. In which case, I'm going to use my website. Now we'll go ahead and publish these. You'll get the error that and it's not an error, it just says they're not connected, which is completely correct. We don't want them to be because they do link to each other directly. I'll take that first one, we'll post in the address, hit enter. So it'll show the question. And I need more leads from my landing page. Click for question two. Why would this be important? Because more leads would allow me to grow my business. And now instead of question three here, it's just going to read and you'll see it will redirect to my homepage. And that's it. So that is how you build a, a quick survey using web forms. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please uh, reach out to me. I can be reached at richard at railgunmarketing.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.